Laura Fiki. So today's video, I just wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I've purchased over the last couple of weeks and months. Uh, this is particularly the stuff that I've been purchasing for the update for my guest bedroom. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know by now that I've been doing this big update on my guest bedroom. I just wanted it to bring it up to the next level and I embarked on this journey just to number one, I wanted to, to feel like a hotel, so I'm going for the hotel vibe. Number two, I just wanted to get a more concrete a theme and a more cohesive color palette in this bedroom. I went with the colors beige, off-white, like an ivory, um, black, white and then uh, accent color of gold so i used those colors stuck to them and i just wanted to update it i felt like some of the stuff that were in the room previously didn't really speak to my style uh if you watch the video that i did on how to prepare your guest bedroom for guests you remember those uh, side tables that i had that i had an issue with those side tables my husband bought and hey those things used to give me so much stress i'm looking at them right now and i'm getting upset thinking about it they were just uh-uh not my style they've got this like black and white zebra print and then they've got like um what color is that? that's like a rose pink mm -mm. not my style no had to go had to go so i had um our our joinery guy joe from mellow kitchens come in and make uh make make me new side tables so i'm really happy with those i chose the the, the same color tone so they are they're beige then they've got touches of gold and i'm really really happy with those i'll show those with you i'll share those with you in the next video that's going to follow this one where i'm going to give you a tour of a guest bedroom so anyways uh, i started this process about two months ago i've been shopping trying to find everything that i needed i wasn't able to get everything that i needed here in vento or in south africa so with me when i want something uh, i don't allow distance or the fact that it's abroad stop me i make a way guys you have to do what you have to do sometimes and uh i've, I've recently discovered a company called uk29 uh, so uk29 is owned by morningstar hi morningstar hi Mimi. so she's got this amazing service you basically purchase your stuff online in the uk you have it delivered to her and then she ships it she basically consolidates your order and ships it over to you with dhl so this is uh, a collection some of the stuff that i've purchased through her and such a wonderful service you no longer have the excuse of no it's abroad i can't get it you you pay a little money for a good service and you get your stuff here and your home is curated and you've got everything in your everything that you want in your home so that's basically what i did and um i wasn't able to find things that i wanted in the beginning uh, sorry uh, in, in the time frame I, I initially wanted to do the update over a period of one month and that didn't work out but i decided i'm going to wait until i find exactly what i want i always say that when you're trying to style or update a room or a house you're not going to find everything you're looking for immediately or, do, or in one month for example or in two weeks and then sometimes you because of that pressure you end up settling you buy something and you've settled and then three months a year later you're looking at this thing and you're like why did i buy this or you go and find something that you really wanted so my advice when you're styling a place be patient give yourself enough time give yourself a timeline say six months that i'm going to take six months to find exactly what i want so that your place is really curated and by curated i just mean you've really taken the time studied what you want and gone out and picked you know hand picked everything that you want in that room and it really speaks to you and it tells a story so i did that and i'm very happy i'm looking at this room and i'm so happy with the way it looks i feel like it really represents us and our guests are going to be so lucky to like to sleep in here i really think we're going to have a, a struggle getting our guests out of here <laughs> anyways guys so today's video is very informal i'm not showing you how to do anything i'm not teaching you anything not not directly anyways i'm just going to share with you some of the stuff that i've bought for the purposes of styling and updating this room and then some other stuff i've purchased during the course of i think three months when was the last the last time since the last time that i did a shopping haul so i'm just going to share with you some of the stuff that i bought i'll give you pricing where i'm able to and then uh the video that proceeds this one is basically going to be a tour of my guest bedroom so you can finally see what i did so the reason why it also took so long was because i was waiting for a rug now rugs are not cheap hey to so a girl had to save up a girl had to wait for some money to come in to be able to get the rug because rugs be expensive Eesh. anyway so it's good that i waited because by the time i got the rug they were on sale at Corey Craft. they were 25 percent off and i got it at a good price so i'm really happy with that and this is one of those and i wasn't willing to sit on i didn't just want any rug i needed it to be a rug that was cohesive with everything in here so yeah okay i'm babbling too much let's get into the video guys let's start with the first box and let me show you what i've got okay so we're going to start with my dhl box so i've recently become obsessed with bottom accessories and 
I thought to myself, if I'm going to update the guest bedroom, I should probably go ahead and update the guest bathroom as well, right? It makes sense. So, I went over to Zara Home and Agent M Home and found me some of the, some of the cutest bathroom accessories I've ever seen. This is from Zara Home. And this is a little soap dispenser. What I love about it, it's so vintage. It's got this beautiful vintage vibe. I like that it's clear. I like that it's glass. And I like the fact that you just pump like this. So you just pump uh, as opposed, it's, it's a bit different from the normal ones. And I just like the way that this, it's almost like a faucet. So I just thought this was so cute. It was so different. And I thought it would just accentuate my guest bathroom as well. Also in the colors that I like. So we've got this brass kind of gold. And yeah, I just wanted something that was going to stand out. I think it's going to be one of those things that you look at and you're like, Whoa, where did you get that from? Then I can tell them, Zara Home, because we roll like that, yes. So this I'm really, really, really keen on. I'm going to put some soap in here. I bought two of them. It's that one and then this one. So I'm just going to use this uh, for soap and then the other one for hand lotion. So these are going to go into the... Okay, no, this is the... Okay, sorry. Okay, that one is for the guest bathroom. So, like I said, I've become obsessed with bathroom accessories. So, I couldn't just buy for one bathroom. So, I think I, I bought this set for our bathroom upstairs. So, for the master bathroom. So, this one, uh, this is from H&M Home. This is also glass, brass finish. And these came in a set of three. I'll show you the other two. And I love them. I love the color. They're such a statement piece. And I love particularly the fact that they're glass. And I think I'm gonna get some really good use out of them. And I think, yeah, I bought two sets of these. So I think this one, this one, one set is gonna go up into our bedroom master bathroom, and then I think the other set I'll put into the guest toilet, which I'm also busy updating. So new uh, video coming up soon. I'm actually, I think we're starting with that process tomorrow, updating it. So that one, let me just show you what it comes with. I've got a box here. So that one comes as a set of three, like I said. So it comes with this. This is just a glass or a cup. You can put your toothbrushes in here, or you can use it to drink water when you're brushing your teeth. And then this, this gorgeous bowl. So I think you can use this as a jewelry holder, uh, or just place some cotton, cotton pads in there. I think I'm going to use it for cotton pads. And yeah, same color. Uh, as the other ones and also made out of glass which I really like and I just love it I never would have been able to find this here uh, so I'm really happy with these purchases okay sorry the pricing so these each of these things that I've just shown you everything here was nine pounds so this was nine pounds this was nine pounds the cup was nine pounds so the total for this was 30 pounds uh, just to give you an idea so you take nine pounds each times um, so it's actually 9.99 so 10 pounds times 80 so it's about 180 dollars per item so this would be 180 which i think is still reasonable because this is glass and just of the finish because this is just something you're not going to find uh, that is not readily available so I'm, I'm okay with the price i think it was okay this one how much was this uh, i don't remember how much this was this is from zara home uk website i think this was maybe 12 pounds 12 pounds yes i think it was 12 pounds so the same multiplied by 18 to get that in a million dollars and then this is not for my bedroom or it's got nothing to do with, with the guest bedroom but it's basically moss balls that i bought so i'm going to start selling these i just purchased this from my from my supplier and i wanted to test it i want to test out all the stuff that i'm going to be selling before i start selling it because i need to know whether it's a good product or not so these are moss balls let me just give you a close-up of how it looks like i love how textured they are and I'm going to be selling this on my website, curatedbynitendi.com. So I'm finishing up that website. I'm just busy updating the pictures. I'm going to do a photo shoot soon. And then the idea is to launch by the 1st of December so that you guys can buy some nice goodies for yourselves and for your friends for Christmas. So this is definitely going to be on there. And how you style this, you just place this in a bowl, in a vase, and you put it on your dining room table, on your coffee table. And it's nice and light and I really love the texture of this this is something that just exudes luxury for me and I'm so excited that you guys are gonna have an opportunity to purchase this from curated by Mutindi so that's that uh, I need to create some space here okay I think that's it in this box let's move on to the other one okay and this plastic bag this is from at home 
this is a scent diffuser. So I purchased this last week. And let me just take it out so I can show you how it looks like. Shoot, it's hot in here. But I can't open the doors because we've got construction going on next door and you won't be able to hear me if I open it. So I'm just gonna have to suffer. So excuse my oily nose, guys. It's just one of those things. So this is a, uh, an oil diffuser. Got this from at home. I thought I was done with at home's oil diffusers until I saw this and I'll show you why. It's so luxurious and it smells so amazing. The sticks are the normal bamboo sticks. So I started having a problem with them when I got exposed to the diffusers from Poetry. But when I saw this, I was like, no, I can't do this. So how stunning is this? I felt like I had to purchase this. This is, what is the scent? This is, okay. Okay, so it's a, it's, it's a blend, it's a combination of bergamot, rose, lily of the valley, jasmine, violet, sandalwood, cypress, musk, and ambergris. I mean, this is like perfume. This is, it smells so amazing. And what I love, especially is just the packaging. I love how, how it's packaged. I love that it's black, so it goes with the theme of the room. I love the fact that it just looks so expensive. Hey, no, this, go out and get it. This was 249 which I thought was okay. I was actually expecting it to be like $500 because at home can get a bit ridiculous with its diffusers. So I was really pleasantly surprised by the price of this. So I'm just going to pop this in there and then place it around the bedroom, probably on the shelf to make the bedroom really, really smell like a hotel. So I'm really impressed with this. 250 from at home. Okay. And then I bought a planter. I thought like, we needed some plants in here and I just need to find the perfect plants to put in here. But, so I bought this little planter thingy. It's a stand and a planter. So you set it like this on the floor and then you put this on top and then you put your plant in there. So I thought it was pretty cute. I love the color. It's black and gold. So it fits right in. And this was $300, $299. So I'm really excited about this as well. It's just going to bring some added an, ad, an added natural element in here when I put some plants in there so that's that one and then in here we're on to Mr. Price home these beautiful black vases ah oh, I love a black vase so I've recently only started purchasing black vases they're just such a statement piece you put any type of flower in there any color flower and it just immediately pops so black is the thing to buy guys and this was 159 this is from Mr. Price Home. I think I purchased one, two, three, the last three that were in there. So good luck finding it. <laughs> so yeah, this is from Mr. Price Home. I'm actually going to put some pampas grass in here and just put it on the bedside table. So really excited about this, uh, Mr. Price Home. And then I found these. These are so cute. These are vases also from Mr. Price Home. They were $59. The color doesn't go anywhere in my house, but I've got a fix, uh, I've got a solution for that. I'm just going to spray paint it. So I'm, I'm battling with whether to spray paint it black or gold. And you can put like a single stem in there. I just thought it was too cute to, to leave. So I purchased it and I'm just gonna spray paint it and get it the color I want and make use of it somewhere. Even in the bathroom, I just love the shape. It's just so quirky, love it. So this is also Mr. Price Home and I bought them, I bought two of those. I bought two of them. Okay, that's that from Mr. Price Home. What else? Uh uh. No, that was Mr. Price Home. I got something else from Mr. Price Home. Hold on. Black throw. So I bought a gold one initially. Didn't look right. I had uh, ended up taking it over to the living room. So I went back and bought this black one. And it's just a normal throw good size and you just throw this over the bed just in case the guests doesn't really want to cover themselves with a the duvet and you can also use it when they're on the on the couch here that I'm on so this is just a hundred hundred percent polyester and I just love the color it's not often that you find these kind of things in black and it's just so chic so really happy with this this was 250 or 299 if 
I'm not mistaken, I can't remember the price exactly, but I got it from Mr. Price. And then these, so these took me a long time to get. I think I went to the shops maybe four times before I found the perfect cushions for this bedroom, specifically for the couch. So this one, Cory Craft. Cory Craft is the best place to find cushions. The reason why they're the best place is you really get your value for money. Number one, most of their cushions, the inners are made with duck feather. So when you've got a duck feather inner, it allows you to do the karate chop that I'm so famously known for now. Thank you, Owen. <laughs> so this I bought from Cory Craft. It was, I can't remember the price. Uh, maybe 350. And it's just this beautiful beige and black knitted kind of texture and i really love it i'm really happy with this also cory craft so this is a suede cushion much smaller i think this is a 50 by 50. the other one i just showed you is a 60 by 60. Uh, this one doesn't have a duck feather in it but that's all right i didn't actually want to do a karate chop on it it's very structured and i love these tassels and i didn't think it would work and i told the guy okay i'm gonna go see how this looks like on my couch if it doesn't work i'm gonna bring it back i haven't got to take it back because i really love it it's just nice i like it it's very luxurious i love the feel suede is gorgeous and it just ties in everything together this one oops i'm missing on it okay so this one this is from h and m uh i just bought the cushion cover it would have been too expensive to have an entire cushion with its inner um shipped to here because of the weight this stuff can get really heavy so this is just also a 50 by 50 cushion cushion coming from h and m i think i spent nine pounds on it as well and this one i put a duck feather in it in it inside it so you can do the karate chop in it and then what else this candlestick this is just a black minimalist iron candlestick this is from at home i think it was 120 dollars yeah, so I think that's it for the stuff that I purchased specifically for this room. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. This is something that I just bought today. This is for the mothers. So if for the mothers with babies, small children. So if you're not in this WhatsApp group, you can stop the video now. I'm kidding. Watch until the end, please. <laughs> so I saw this at a client's house over the weekend and I fell in love. You know, it's nice sharing because people also share with you, now. So people, don't be stingy with information and when you buy your stuff. When you give, you get, you you also receive. So my client was very, was was nice enough to just share the information as to where she bought this. So this is a potty. So we're busy potty training my son. And I saw this in our house and I thought it was the cutest thing. I didn't actually know it was a potty because it just looked so, it's so aesthetic. It looked like an art piece to be quite honest with you. So my husband has to come and fix this in. But it's basically made in the design of a, of a whale so it comes on like this and this is how it looks like isn't that just stunning i feel like he's gonna want to go boo boo in here just because of how cool it looks and i like the fact that he can you can cover it so if he has done his little boo boo in there he can just cover it and nobody has to see his boo boo because that's not a good look nobody wants to be looking at nobody's boo boo so oops. Uh oh, you open it there and then he boo boos does his business and then you cover it until you are able to throw it out so i just need to get it fixed on here but that's basically how it looks like it's in the style of a whale i love it so i thought i'll share that with you guys i bought it at baby bus 350 350 or 389 350 yeah i just got this today it comes in this color gray and then it also comes in pink and in blue i took gray obviously because it's just kind of personal i am so yeah that's that's it guys uh i've made quite the mess in here oh one more thing i need to show you the rug that held up this entire process so this is the rug that held up the entire process oh. Oh, I see this. let's see if i can open this Twenty-five percent off at Cory Craft. I saw the other day at home is also having a sale on its rugs. Twenty percent. So you wanna purchase these things when the stuff is on sale. Otherwise, it can come out quite expensive. 
Uh, okay, so this is how it looks like. I hope you can see it. I'm not gonna open it entirely. It's too much work, but that's basically how it looks like. You've got soft touches of beige in there and then black and blues, but mostly blacks. And I just loved it because it just ties in with the entire theme. And I can't wait to put it under the bed. So guys, that's it. That's it for today's video. That's it. Uh, I need to clean up this mess that I've made now. And prepare to shoot the video for the grand tour and reveal of the guest bedroom. That should be fun. And yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were able to uh, get an indication, an idea of what I'm going to be doing with this space. And if you've got any questions or comments, just put them in the description box in the comment section below. I'll respond. If there's anything that I didn't, you didn't catch in terms of pricing, I'll try my best to just link it in the description box. And yeah, remember that not having stuff here in Amiga should not stop you from getting what you want. You're a boss. You're a boss girl. You're a boss man and you just do what you gotta do and we've got companies like uk to name that just get it done for you so go support namibian a fellow namibian and get yourself to namibia and have your pretty spaces and celebrate your life and live your best life and yeah guys i'm talking nonsense now thank you so much for watching it's always a pleasure you uh, shooting these videos for you and i will see you in the next one yeah.